So I would like to ask y'all, where was y'all at when y'all first heard it's, Kanye say, this was not the Kennedy assassination, first of all, nigga. Where were you? I'll never forget it. I was eating mashed potatoes when it came across the wire. Across the tube. Shots fired. Well, we were together. We were in Denver. Yeah, we were in Denver. And what happened in Denver? Because y'all getting high. Uh, uh, what? Look, look. No, 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 no. The only reason we're even smoking and drinking and, and entertaining this tomfoolery is because we're on a show called Drink Champs. That's right. It's all my fault. That's right. That's right. What do you mean, Drink Champs? Nigga, I'm standing next to the Drink Champ. Nobody's fucking with him. So, so, so y'all, y'all in Denver, and what happens? I, I, I don't remember. Listen, no, listen, no, 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 listen. Uh, pop culture is a desert right now. Mm. And your show is an anomaly. Mm. And and that Kanye West uh, interview you did was one of my favorite things that I've seen in all of pop culture in recent history. <laughs> Sincerely. Thank you, I, I, I fuck with Kanye, right. but man, I ain't seen him like that in a minute. Right. It was funny. Right. It was engaging. Mm -hmm. And then this nigga had to go in on Quali's hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On his hat, you said? On his hat? He went on Quali's hat. Yeah, I forgot about his hat. I forgot about his hat. He said something about Quali making baseball hats popular. Ain't no disrespect, nigga. I laughed. <laughs> I would like to big you up, Talib, because honestly, I could tell the first two days we spoke, you were hot. Okay. I can tell, but you trusted me as a friend. Uh-huh. And I was really respect that. Mm -hmm. Because you knew I said, yo, Talib, I couldn't stop anything. <laughs> you know, like once once a person starts to go mm -hmm. and a person of, of that caliber is just like, damn, what do I do? I can't throw a muzzle on them. But you could have you could have took this the wrong, wrong way. Mm -hmm. You could have you could have called <laughs> what are you talking about? No, Kyle, what are you talking about, nigga? No, because I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. Yeah. Put that baseball hat comment. Nobody, nobody makes fun of my hats. Nobody. This nigga was, this nigga was not hot at all. I was with him when he saw the nigga was yeah, laughing was immediately. Yeah, he was not. Hot. But the first, my first two calls, I was nervous. Uh, okay. But then the third and fourth and everyone, you kind of like. Just brushed it off and was uh -huh. just like, but you said something to me that was very, very, probably the most popular, uh, probably the most illest things I've ever heard in my life. You said to me, the thing about Kanye is, even when he disses you, he helps you. Mm. And you said yeah. the problem with him is he knows that. I, I, I do remember saying that. I agree with that. So I, I didn't hear a diss. I heard, I heard, I heard a diss. I'm because you be wearing them hats, nigga, but I heard, I heard an alley-oop, I heard an alley-oop. I did add fun with it, but you know. Do you think? Are you getting phone calls? How How is this, how does this, I mean, obviously me and EFN called you, mm -hmm. but the episode drops. Are you getting phone calls? How, how does this work for you? Uh, yeah, that was good times. Um, mm -hmm. It was <laughs> good times. It felt like, you know what it felt like? It felt like having a hit record out. Wow. Yes. That's how it felt. The way that I remember, like, when Get By was out. Wow, just that's how it felt. Get By. Yeah. Wow. It just, so it, so it just, you know, it reminded me of what Kanye meant to the culture. And, right. um, you know, wow. the hat shit was funny to me. Right. Um, it was hilarious. I thought it was. I laughed. <laughs> but I didn't even realize you wear hats like that. No, but it's funny. Until then, I was like, it's oh, funny because Nori, you helped me because y'all put it in two parts, right? So it was, right. It was a cliffhanger. Right. Which, yeah. Right? And the first part, he just dissed me and I didn't see the second part. Right. So the first part, I was like, oh, that was weird. But the second part, you was like, yo, but didn't you just see him? And what you was talking about was pictures at my at Dave Chappelle right. comedy show, which was on my birthday. I DJed. I'm DJing, Dave says, uh, Kanye gonna show up. Kanye shows up, no security, nothing. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna play an all Kanye set. He sat next to me, we had a great time. That was like a month before I saw him on Drink Champs. Wait, where was this? At the, at the stand. I brought it up. But nah, uh -huh. you know, it was my birthday, so I had all my people with me. Okay. A lot of Flatbush niggas. And? A lot of baseball hats. So when Kanye said, it's gonna be 12 niggas with baseball hats, I knew exactly. 
which niggas he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? And there's, we, we all had a group chat. We all, you know, we, we, you know, you're a certain age. You on the group chat with your friends from right. mm. back in the day. We on the group chat just laughing about this shit. Right. Um, but you know, it was a moment that I that I had to I had to have fun with it. Right. Because I got a lot of love for Kanye, um, and um, he seemed there was there was underlying context behind that. Mm. You know, it really had nothing to do with bars or common or baseball hats or none of that. Right. Had nothing to do with that. And so for me, there Almost was a like, part of it. Was, let's go ahead. Let me say it in the rip. Okay, go ahead. Kanye got a huge platform. Uh huh. And I care. And I, you know, I'm, I'm like Marlo from the Wire. My name is my name. Right. You don't speak my name in no disrespectful way. That's how I feel. Right. Um, and he got a huge platform, and I love him. Mm. And he's my friend. And he's my brother. So this was all I love very, that about you. very conflicting and difficult. Right. Which you've expressed on Drink Champs before. Right. Your love for Which right. is why me and and to be real, right. me expressing that on Drink Champs is what he was responding to. Yes, it was. When he when he said what he had to say. Yes, it was. When I saw the documentary, and shout out to Cootie because I think he did a great job. No, it was amazing. But when I saw the documentary, there's moments in the documentary of me and y'all seen Bay together with Kanye, and I'll be honest with you. My life was moving so fast at that time. A lot of shows, a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking, a lot of just rap. Hey, 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 drink. don't confess. Hey, right. it's, a lot of, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm you watching this. Catch it, Quali, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm watching this documentary and I don't remember those moments. Mm. And so, me not remembering those moments, I had to realize, well, if I don't even remember those moments until I had to see them on film, right. the people who wasn't there, they definitely don't know right. about that. So they don't have no context. So I have to stop even be considering the context of people who wasn't there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the people who was there, they know. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, that's what that documentary reminded me of. Okay, very briefly, I spoke to Consequence. Mm-hmm. Right? This is when the first episode dropped. Well, by the way, this has nothing to do with it, but this nigga Consequence, perfect teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Sign up. Sign up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so when I spoke with the consequence, <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be trending. It's gonna be trending. So, so, yeah, see, so when I spoke with the consequence, at, at first it seemed like he was, you know, uh, a little disgruntled because people was using footage uh, of him that um, was from 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 early on, and then later on it seemed like it was like, alright, it was cool. But one one of the, the the footage from the Kanye documentary which you just brought up is you kept saying this guy is going to be the guy. Yeah, yeah, I did. Like I very mean, confidently too. Yeah, I mean, I think you even said you was going to do a whole album together. It was fairly obvious to me. Right. I mean, from the from the get go, where that was headed, where it already was when we met him. I mean, he was. Amazing producer. Um, he had all the star quality. He was different. He challenged, in my opinion, a lot of the macho notion that's right. associated with with hip hop specifically. Like he even just said it recently. He said you won't do uh, four years in college, but you do twenty five to life. That's a disrespect to every gangster nigga in the world. Mm. No one even comes caught that. <laughs> Huh. Wait, he said what? He said you won't do he said four years in college. You won't do four years in college, but you do twenty five to life. What he's trying to say is. Oh, I mean, this is very hood. What I'm doing. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, but you have any dental? No, he's saying that was where we place our values. Yeah, where you place our values. Yeah. Like, like, and then he also said millionaires wear chains. Like, it's also like you dissing a millionaire. I've never heard this before. But I mean, who is this in the millionaire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's man that he did? He, all of us. He said millions. Go ahead, tuck my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tucking my ass. 